And we're back with another GB Studio demonstration. This comes from another request in the comments section asking if we can pick up or move objects in our Game Boy game using GB Studio. And I have three possible solutions that can hopefully help with that. Maybe using one of these three or a combination of a few of them. We'll see how these work for you. Uh, the first one I think is the easiest. I just have this one here in a level that I called push. And it's just a simple platformer level. I have my little character right here. I have an actor down in this area here, this little Christmas present or package that we have there. And when I have that selected, I gave it a collision group of one, but you can use whatever collision group that you would like. And I said, on hit with player. And then I went and I added in the event. And the one that I selected is push actor away from player. Move our character here. And when you collide into the package, it moves the package there. Go the other way and it pushes it the opposite direction. If you move through it too fast, you know, then you can just go past it, you know, so that might be something to keep in mind with it. But that is kind of the the simple way to do that. That's the simple push actor away from player. Now there's also this little check mark here where you can select it and it'll slide until collision. So if you're looking for something that's more puzzle based and you want the object to move, but to keep moving until it collides with something else, then you can use that option also. You don't really need anything else for that. That's as easy as that goes. So I think that's a pretty good solution. Uh, the second option here to throw an object or to move an object, I think, is to pick it up and to throw the object. Uh, so for here, I will go to starting scene and I'm going to switch it to the throw level. So it's this one here. I have my character and I have the box, but this one's a little different. And I added another image sprite for this one. And this one's called, like, here's my turkey where I have my turkey standing still. And then my turkey can move to the right or jump to the right and then it flips right to create the left facing frames. Just a regular turkey. Uh, I made a second sprite sheet here, which is basically the same one I had before, but as you can see, this, this turkey is holding something like a little package in there. And then in the moving right, it's carrying the package. In the jumping right, it's jumping while carrying the package. And you can see that looks a little bit different than the other version. So the way that this one works, okay, when I collide with this box, you can see it picks it up. Now, what I probably should do, I had already made the box and then I made this after the fact. I would probably want the box to be similar size to the other sprite, but you get the idea for the demonstration here. And now this bird is wandering around, carrying the box, and then I can fire it, and then it's no longer carrying the box anymore. So how does that work? Well, this is this is what we have. Um, so on in it, I basically have a variable that I created. And the variable is called gift. And so basically, if gift is true, and if I push the B button on my keyboard, then it's going to launch the gift as a projectile on there. So, like, here's the projectile, I have the gift on there, or the package sprite there and it's moving at a speed of two. 
in the lifetime of two, and it just throws that object. Now, immediately after we press B to throw that package, then it says gift is now equal to false. And then it sets the player sprite sheet back to turkey. All right, so when I fire the package or when I throw the package, uh, then it goes back to looking like it's not carrying it. And we change the variable from true to false. Now, how do we get this package to, uh, or the gift variable to turn to true in the first place? Well, on here, when I select this, when it collides with the player, when this box here, when I run into it, it is going to, um, and this only works if gift is equal to false. All right, it's because I didn't want to be able to pick up multiple boxes. You could do that if you want. But in this sense, I was thinking if I had multiple boxes on here, I would want it to where I could only pick up one at a time. And then when I throw that, then I could go over and pick up the other one. But you can kind of use that however you like. But when the character collides with that, then it is deactivating the box. So it's removing it from the screen. And then it is setting gift equal to true. And then we're changing the player image sprite to the turkey gift, which is that second batch that I had. So again, when you move around and I try to press the fire button at the beginning, nothing happens. But then I go here. Now, gift is equal to true because I'm carrying that around. And because it's equal to true, then my sprite sheet is turkey gift. Then I fire it. Now, gift is equal to false. And it switched my sprite sheet back to just the regular turkey. So that's kind of the, like if push is the easiest one, throw is the next easiest one. You have a few extra steps with it, but it's not too bad. Uh, then the third one I have on here is place. And this is the most, it's not crazy difficult, but it it's just a few more steps than the other. Go up here to starting scene, and I will select place. I have the turkey. I have this package. I also have the turkey picking up the gift. So the the turkey gift or the turkey package sprite sheet uh, where it's carrying it, just like we did with the throw. But the difference with this one is instead of throwing the package, we're placing the package. So to begin with, if I select the package first, it works the same way as throwing. If the player collides with the package and if our variable gift is equal to false, then it's going to deactivate the package and then it is going to set gift equal to true and then it's going to change our sprite sheet to turkey gift where our turkey is carrying that package around. Then if we go back over here and select the layout here, we have our on init. And basically, if you press the B button, and if gift is equal to true, which it is when you collide with it, uh, then it is going to store the player position in variables. So when I press B, it's going to take the location of the player of their X and Y position. And then it is going to set the actor to position player x plus 3 and then to the player y. And the reason why I did player x plus 3 is because if I just used player x and the player y, then that package is going to appear right over the player. And then we're immediately going to pick up the package again. We don't want that. We want it to just drop it off to the side. Um, and then we have gift is equal to false. And then 
we change our sprite sheet back to the default turkey and then we reactivate actor one so that it shows back up at its new location does that look like here we go here pick up the package we're running around with it then i place it and it shows up down there it over here place it and it shows up right there so you'll notice here it's always placing it to the right so you might have to play around with uh, some of these these settings like depending what way the turkey's facing or where it's located at on the screen then maybe it's going to be um, player x plus three or player x minus three uh, you know something like that the other thing too is like if you jump here into the air and then place it it places it in the air so that might be also something else where you have to play around with some things to have it so it's showing up on the ground but at least in this case here or maybe you even have it set up to where you override the jump key and you're not able to jump while you're carrying the package that would be another possible solution but plenty of things i think to think about and to play around with on this there we have it that's three ways to manipulate an object in the game whether it's sliding it picking it up and placing it picking it up and throwing it um hopefully some fun things to utilize with your game boy game let me know what you think in the comments keep those ideas coming in. I, I love making these tutorials for requests. That's my favorite thing to do because it's a good challenge for myself on learning new ways to try to do this and also lets me interact with you all and your great ideas. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and hopefully we'll catch you on another video down the road.